Thank you. Just three more days stand between us and Super Bowl 58 and many people's favorite concert of the year. 13's Katie Marr is live in Las Vegas where she heard today from Usher. Katie? Hey guys, well I'm currently on the red carpet at the NFL Honors. You can kind of see it's a lot busier now than it was when I was with you back live at 5. But uh, yeah, people are starting to trickle in. We've seen some NFL legends like Torrey Smith make their way through. But like I said, it's kind of just started, so not a lot of people are here yet. No Chiefs up for awards, sadly. So nothing to report on that this year, unlike last year with Patrick Mahomes winning MVP and all that fun stuff. But we've got more coverage from here later on. There's still not a lot to show just yet. But there is a lot to show from the halftime show press conference that I went to earlier today. Talk with Usher, Reba. Post Malone and Andre Day, all the halftime show performers, including the deaf performers who are going to be performing them in sign language, and they all talked about what it means to be able to perform this coming Sunday. It's just really a testament of dedication. Um, I, I, I don't have this moment by myself. All of my fans that I bring with me, each and every person that had anything to do with the music, the creativity, everybody is a part of this celebratory moment, and I will be up until this date, the only independent artist who's ever performed the Super Bowl halftime show. It's a performance 30 years in the making, but it's actually not Usher's first time on the Super Bowl stage. He was a special guest back in 2011 with the Black Eyed Peas. My um, hand got caught in the, the wire that was holding me like 30 feet in the air, and I almost missed my first mark. I was like, oh my God, don't let this malfunction cause me to miss something uh, afterwards and how amazing it felt to be in front of that many people and feel the energy um, so much so that it made me you know really passionate about eventually getting this moment that I'm getting ready to have. But he's not the only star hitting football's biggest stage on Sunday. Reba will sing the national anthem, Post Malone has America the Beautiful, and Andre Day will perform Lift Every Voice and Sing. It's not about me walking out on I'm the representation of this song and I'm just honored to get to sing it. It's a good one. I've been doing it for 50 years and I'm really proud to get to sing it super epic to be able to go out there and, and sing and um, a song so many beautiful artists have sang before on, on this stage. More than anything, it's an honor, you know, it's exciting. I kind of referenced my mom and I were talking about it the other day and she said, you know, ultimately this song is a hymn and I'm like, it is, it's a hymn of triumph, you know. And to everyone's disappointment, mine included, Usher did not reveal who his surprise guests are. Still going to have to wait to find out until Sunday to hear about that. But got a lot more from you throughout the night. That'll do it for me now. Vince will be back later in sports with more coverage from here in Vegas. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Katie, good job.